Hi, we're from uh, Holy Trinity Church in Bellevue in Shrewsbury in the west of England. And we'd just like to tell you about something that happened to us through iBethel TV. Uh, this was on the 19th of September this year, Sunday evening. Um, I'm the minister at the church and I decided that we should have a look at the um, service from Bethel from the previous Sunday evening, that's uh, September the 12th. Uh, it was Bill Johnson speaking about Christ in you, the hope of glory, which has been the heart of what God's been doing with us. So a few of us gathered that Sunday evening and watched the, um, the service on iBethel TV. Uh, we watched Bill's talk and then um, at the end of that there were a number of words of knowledge about healing. And while we were listening, something happened. Maggie. Um, Chris Overstreet was um, having words of knowledge and he was saying he felt that there were um, three um, women in the congregation who had um, had trauma to their right arms about three and a half years previously um, in, the, in the march and um, they had um, a scar um, to show where the trauma had taken place and um, uh, I, there were people in the congregation who responded um, but I felt that that applied to me um, um, it was actually four years previously in March that I um, put my hand through a glass window and um, um, severed an artery and a tendon and um, have um, the scar on my wrist and um, Chris said that um, God wanted to heal us from the trauma of that occasion and I, I just felt that even though it, the, the word of knowledge was coming in, um, in America that it was relevant to me sitting in church in Shrewsbury and um, God knew where I was and wanted to release me from trauma and he's done that and helped me to give testimony and um, encourage other people to um, respond and um, reach out to God for healing for trauma as well. That would be wonderful but that wasn't the end of the story because uh, the next day, the Monday, uh, someone who happened been there that evening I showed uh, a lady called Josie, I showed her this, uh, the video of what had happened and uh, she suddenly got very excited and said, I know who that, that man is, that's Chris Overstreet, he's the outreach pastor at Bethel. And the most amazing thing she said, he's coming to the next door town uh, in two weeks time to do a conference. And um, Now we live right out in the, in the boonies, as you say, um, right on the west side of England. We don't get a lot of Christian conferences out here and the idea of someone coming from Bethel uh, two weeks later uh, and it was quite amazing. So I rang up the organisers of the conference and said, could you ask Chris when he comes whether it was possible he might come and actually um, um, speak to us on the Sunday morning at the end of the conference. Uh, never thinking that he would be able to be, knowing the kind of uh, complicated schedules that, uh, that you guys have. And, um, but amazingly, when uh, Sam asked him, Chris said he would come and he came and preached that Sunday, that was October the 3rd this year. It was the most amazing service that we had. Uh, at the end of it, uh, Chris gave a very gentle invitation and the whole congregation came forward to be prayed for uh, by him and the two other guys that he brought. And that was, um, but it was just the start of what God's been doing this term. Um, Ever since then, it's as though God has put his foot down hard on the accelerator and we've seen all sorts of healings and we've seen a whole new acceptance of the work of God in people's lives in the congregation.